Hey y'all, this is T.S. Madison Hunter, and we are back again with another episode of Asking for a Friend. Now, how many of you bitches out there got y'all titties done? Hmm? One, two, three, I see your hands. Put your hand down. Those your natural titties. Those uh, 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 59 Triple H. I see you, you big titty bitch. <laughs> as far as me, I have had so many augmentations done to my body because I have transitioned. Now, usually people think that transitioning only means people that are transgender people. That's not true. Men have transitioned from being a small nigga to a big nigga. You see them niggas over there at the gym? Big swole, big back niggas that got all of that swole back and no dick. You know who I'm talking about. I might be talking about you. Hell, you can even have your dick augmentated. Did you know that? My thing is, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We black folks got to come up out of that shit acting like that we don't supposed to get no surgery. And it seems like in the last year, especially during the pandemic, all you bitches is running out there getting them BBLs. You couldn't keep your ass off the plane. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, cause I ain't got the best body, but God damn it, I got the best pussy on this side of the equator. Make sure you tune into the episode. This is one of the motherfuckers you don't want to miss. Thank you. I don't like this lip. It makes me look like a man. Everybody, this is T.S. Madison, Loud, Live and in Color, coming to you from Asking for a Friend. And today we are talking about beauty standards and, you know, what it is to be pretty, you know, who can be pretty. We're talking about breast augmentations. We're talking about uh, ass shots. Mm -hmm. We're talking about BBLs mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of stuff. And I have my co-host with me, Shekana Joe. Y'all know Shekana Joe, baby. You know, ain't nobody funny than my motherfucking sister, Shekana Joe. <laughs> so, so let's just let's let's just let's just jump right on into it. Let's get into it. Have you had your ass done? Of course I have. How many times have you had your ass done? Um, I got the ass shots at first, and then I went and got and then I got fat transferred, and then I got the ass shots took out. Your ass is huge. And I'm one, if you got it. Your ass is huge. I got a really big, big ass. Big, big ass. Big, big ass. Yeah, it look good though. At, at night. It look good in the daytime too. And did the, the daytime too, but it look, it's, it's. I be checking that ass out. You do? Yeah. Not like I be looking at that big old ass you got, girl. <laughs> so, sister, I want to say, as a woman, like, were you, did, were you apprehensive at first about going to get butt shots? Um, no, because I seen so many of my homegirls getting in and they were safe. So I was just like, fuck it. And I wanted a little bump. So why was it when you say it was safe when you saw your homegirls, it wasn't safe for me. Like, what? listen, I, I started working on my ass. I'm 46 years old. And you look I, good. Thank you, baby. Not, listen, we go, we can compliment each other all day because we love each other. <laughs> yes. But I'm 46 years old and I've been working on my whole transition since I've been my 17, 18 years old. Long, long motherfucking time. Right. Right. But when I first started, like, the first thing that I had got was I got my boy dents filled in. And, like, I would go to the lady, to the Spanish lady, and she would fill the little boy dents. Because, you know, a man's booty has them side pockets on it like that. Yeah. You see, you know, you 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 like men, don't you? I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. you, you like men, don't you? Strictly. So when you see a man naked, mm -hmm. and you see him standing, he, turn, he got them side pockets in his booty. Like the booty be like a basketball, be like muscle. Right. That's something that throw me off. How these the new age boys, they butt sit up so great, don't it? I mean, they be in the gym all the time. Nah, they ain't in no gym. It's the boxers they were. The boxers? Yeah, the boxers got good support. It sits that ass up. Well, why are they ain't doing nothing for the nuts? Oh, yeah, the nuts do be sagging. They be, they, they do. But I want to talk about how when I first got my butt shots done, the very first thing that the Spanish lady did, she filled in the boy dance. Because, mm. you know, she said women are rounded out like this and, like, boy booties be built up like basketballs and stuff like that. You need to come out like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got my boy dance filled in over time. And that, that was the first thing I did. Then I was like, ooh, I want, I want to be wide. Like, I have always admired you know, the ghetto girls in my hood where I'm from, like how they were shaped like Coca-Cola bottles or whatever. And I was like, ooh, I want to get, I want to have some hips like that because, you know, those childbearing hips drew the niggas. Yeah. And I was a prostitute for a very long fucking time. Right. And like, I used to walk the streets or whatever and, and the reason why my ass and body is so big that racket is now because I always tell people out there and I'm not ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed because that's where I was in life. I'm in another place now. I told people that 
I got this done because I used to need to stop a car. I was a streetwalker. Mm. And so in order to stop a car, I'm from Miami. Bitch, if your ass and your if they could see you from the front, the car ah! Right. And you know what I'm saying? That's how I paid my bills. Now at this big age in my life right now, I'm like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have did all of that stuff. But then I look at it and be like, okay, I'm all right with it. Right. But I'm afraid now to go and have some stuff done to it because I'm older and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time for this stuff. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going there digging and moving around. Right. You said to me before, like when we talked on the telephone, you told me that you've had some stuff removed. Yes. You wasn't scared? Like how, how did that happen? I wasn't scared because I wanted it out. Cause when you had those ads, you know, the shots, it made like indentions in the butt. So I just wanted it out so bad. So it didn't hurt. I wasn't scared. I was just ready for it to get out. So what you had is so you had like natural dents in the booty? No, I had like I guess the dents that come from the medication that they put in your butt. But my mama got dents in her booty cuz she got a real big ass booty too. Not 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 like the dents I had. It was coming from that. So you you got a smooth booty now? Yeah, it's cute. It's cuter than what it was. It's you didn't have to get no fillers or nothing in it that like after they took some of the stuff out. Mm -mm. He filled it up. So he do what he do is he flip your ass muscle. How you do it? I don't know, but he flipped the ass muscle to make the ass do something. So you laid down flat and the man cut your ass open and just stuck his hand in there? No, he he he, he, he took a like a light bulb thing and went up in there. Oh, and then I got pictures of it in my other phone of what all came out. What it looked like when it came out? Oh my god, it was just like balls, like wow. like little gel balls, like gel balls. Oh, so that's what that is. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. The reason why you did that was, did you do that because it built your, boosted your self-confidence? I did it because I wanted to have a fat ass. I don't think I had to do with no confidence. I just wanted the ass. And then when I got the ass, I got, it seems like it started attracting the wrong kind of people. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> so a big booty bitch pulls in a nigga that like big booty bitches. Yeah. And usually they ain't the good niggas. No, they're not. They ain't nothing. They ain't worth it. <laughs> it's just the truth. Heartache and pain. Really? Yeah. You be thinking they coming out of that, girl. I'm scared of these men. It ain't your beauty. It's your booty. Yeah, I, I want it to be my beauty, though. I don't want it to be the booty. But you're beautiful, though. You know what I'm saying? But you just want to have more ass. I just wanted it. And I was like 24. But, I mean, I did that when I was young, too, because I wanted to stop a car like I was supposed to. So I wanted to stop a car. <laughs> Man, I wanted to stop the car. Man, I you did. The shit. Well, you were stopping them. When oh, I stopped the motherfuckers right now. Shit. What you say? I could stop a car. I, already I can know actually it. stop a plane from the sky right now. Yes, everything. Okay, okay. All right, so let's talk about breast reductions. I feel attacked. Why we Why we talk about breast reductions? Do I need a breast reduction? I had one. So you had your ass removed and your breast reduced. Had a breast reduction twice. Why? Because them bitches hurt my back. How tall are you? Four eleven. You're four foot eleven. And four foot eleven, mm -hmm. and your ass was was how much around? Because I'm a sixty around. I don't even know. I ain't never had ass measure. I never had this ass measure. Mm. I know my waist is twenty six. I don't know what my waist is. I just know my ass. My shit was a sixty going around. Ooh. It's still that. It's a sixty, Ooh. and I'm a forty six triple D. So did you have implants done? No, I had. I've had all my stuff is under the table. Mm. All this under the table shit. You That's lying. why I'm scared to go over there and start fucking with it because I don't have no problem. You, dip, dip, dip titties. <laughs> Under the table. How? I laid on the table and, you know, the I got off of work and the bitch stuck me with a couple of fruit needles. And we went to work. But now, I'm encouraging like girls out there that, that are watching the program and I'm encouraging all girls like... In the new age that we're living in right now, if you want to go do something to your body, don't do it the dark way. Do it the light way. Like, do it the way, like, go to the doctor, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, you know, do all this stuff. But at the time, you know, I was young. Bitch, I wanted to be, I wanted to be bodied at all costs. But you look good, and them breasts look amazing. They have their days. They sitting up and shit? They do. They do. But, I mean, if I had to, if, if, if I wasn't so nervous, like, like, with stuff, mm. like, I would go and do little bits of things because, you know, I'm really... Want to you know smooth stuff out because I got little dents and shit too mm. you know what I'm saying but I I look at my mama's ass when she walked through the go to the bed she got this and I said that's a woman thing got this in the ass Miss Big Mary ass. yeah that's my buddy so sister so, so let's talk about these men that that have that is that are wearing laces and doing like like the hair not the hair transplant 
But the hair transplant and the laces. Because I seen Safari, he on your show. Mm. I seen Safari, he got a real nice hair transplant in the front. It looked nice on him. You ain't see that? No. You didn't know that? So he doing cosmetic surgery too? What's wrong with him doing cosmetic? Oh, no, not just that. He not, I, his hair, it looked good on him. Mm. If you see the before and you see the now, you'll be thanking God for that for him. I thank God for it. I'm happy that they make it pick. You know, because me and be insecure about stuff like that, I think. Of course. When they start losing their hair and going Like, if you stuff. got a real big old dick, because you done seen his dick online, ain't you? No. Girl, you need to, you don't, you work with these people, you don't be watching them? I don't watch He them. got a real big old dick that I seen online. And I'm like, you got a real big old dick like that online, and then your hairline way back here like this. You got to get that fixed. You do, but I ain't know. But he went and fixed it. It looked it look good on him. I'm happy for Safari. So you think it's cool that these men having surgeries? I think that if it's it, you should have the ability, the same ability as women to do these do the cosmetic stuff. I don't think that that makes you less of a man because you want to go work on your work on how you look. Why they just don't go work out, girl? Working out ain't gonna do nothing for his hairline, girl. I'm talking about the men they have surgery. No, we talking about hairlines right now. Okay. okay now what okay. blows me, sister, is when they go out there and they put them, they get, they have them wigs. Oh, so you don't like the wig? It scares me. Cause I may want to be, you may be hitting me from the back, and I may have to want to reach back there and grab your hair, like and the wig, okay? Yes, but then shit, he probably do the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me from the back, my wig is scared. Slide, of me. I'm like, scared. I'm scared. What you scared of? The new man. What's a new man? Give me your definition of the new man. The new man. Yeah. What's your definition of the new man? They manipulators. Girl. They cheaters. <laughs> Girl, that sound like the old man. That sound like the new one. That ain't got worse. You know that. Girl, but that still sound like the and old man. And then they going to get their body done. What's wrong with a man getting his body done? It's just a lot, girl. These men are something else. Uh, what's wrong with that? I, listen. I, why is you taking up for these men? You not a man. I'm not. So why you you keep going? But I'm, but I'm a bitch that done got surgery. And me too. So we should, I think that we should. But we are girls. So we... It's fucked up, Maddie. So you feel like the, the men are deceiving us now? Yes, they are. They're not with us. They are totally against us. And you know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the men with us. You know these men never liked it us. Yes, they do. No, they don't like us. Oh, I love. Listen, men love me. They love you too because that big old ass you got. That's Girl, why you had, you went strong. over there. We're you, too strong. We women. are too strong. But you and went over there and took. This. You went over there and you took some of that some of them shots out because it was too many real niggas wanting to hit you from the back. No, I took them shots out because they hurt my legs. But you also said that the niggas was it was a, a dream. But I felt like someone was dropping down from them ass to my feet. I don't feel that way. Cause you went to somebody else. You didn't go. Who do I went to? Who you went to? I wouldn't dare tell who I went to. I still love him. Well, who the girls go to here at Atlanta? Oh, I don't know. I seen a bitch go to Dr. Miami. Dr. Miami legit. Or Dr. Curves. I see the bitch go to Dr. Curves. Dr. Curves legit. But you know, I'm the one that introduced Dr. Curves to the nation. I'm going to tell you something. Dr. Right. Curves did this butt for anybody. He old Dr. Curve. Dr. Curve. That, that ass so soft. I'm the one put Dr. Curve on TV. It wasn't nobody else. It was Shekana Joe. <laughs> I want to say this. Ladies and fellas, if you go out there and you work on your ass and not your teeth, it's a fucking problem. So then you got a problem. You got a problem. Your teeth need to look good before your ass do. Before your ass do. Now what is we talking Let's about? Let's talk about cleanliness on men. Oh, let's talk about them uncircumcised dicks when they don't clean them right. Mm-hmm. So, are you more prone to attract uncircumcised men or circumcised men? I like circumcised men, but I have bumped into an uncircum before. So when you pull the skin back, is it does it got? I didn't never pull it back. You gotta pull it back. So do you even wrap your? Why you get your nails long if you're not gonna pull the skin back? Girl, on? I ain't into all that. I'm not that freaky. I got two ways to go. And tell me your two ways. Shit, on my back and um on top. Not from the back with all I that ass. I time for all that. I be tired. I be having to go to work. You need to come on, get it in. Let's go. So, how you expect to have a good man if you gonna let that man hit you from how the back? How these hoes got good men? Honey? They they sucking dick and all type of shit. Still can't keep no man. They at home cooking, slaving on all this, and they stay man still go somewhere. So make it make sense. Somebody he can fuck somebody else from the back. Yeah, it's all depending on how I feel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about the cleanliness of the uncircumcised penis. Mm-hmm. So when you pull the when the penis skin come back and you looked at it, <laughs> if it had cottage cheese around it, would you just? I would not. All right. So my thing. Go. Is, uh, okay. This is what I really want to know. 
What? Before your man get in the bed with you, do you bathe him down first? I have bathed the man, but not really. But do you eat eat uh, eat ass? No, I do not eat ass. So you've never is it? Was I've it, never ate ass. So is it because the cleanliness that makes you don't want to no, eat I ass? Just, that, 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 I, I got my own. I don't eat ass. I ain't never got into it, and I'm not a big dick suck either. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Sister, but you do the most complaining about me, and I keep hearing you saying the things that you don't do. I don't have to. I don't have a husband. There ain't nobody out here in this world I'm pursuing. Because when I look at them nine times out of ten, I got more money than them. I have more things going on. You get these but men that be jealous. That. You be, it is because they get jealous, girl. Stop acting like you don't believe that. You done been through that. I have. But my thing is, I'm still going to have sex with men, though. I will have sex, but I'm not doing too much. I'm not your dick sucker. Go around the corner. Okay, now let's say if you did suck the dick, you are you gonna pull the skin back and clean it off first? I, 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 I'm not sucking on no uncircumcised dick. The last couple people I was fucking, they was circumcised. But you, do you still take a hot rag and wipe it off? I make him get in the shower. I don't trust that. I'm I, in the shower if, with him. No, I'm getting in there with you. I get in there with him. I get in there with him. And I don't trust it because I just personally feel like that men really have this thing where they don't like to clean they in the, the crack of their ass. My friend told me that. And my friend told me to clean your ass out. You really need this machine to hook up on the shower to get all this shit about your Sister, ass. Sister, that's your friend that's finna get fucked in his ass. We talking about a straight man yeah. that need to open his ass up and clean that area right there. But in they between. want their ass, hey, they need to get the thumb too and clean it out. Shit, I don't want to have to be eating that ass and it's nasty. But sister, before you even go in there to push something out, you need to get in the crevice in the middle. I look at the way a man's fingernails look. Mm-hmm. I the I wear a man's feet look and toenails. Well, and I also watch. Okay, there was a guy that I was watching on Rude.com back in the day, mm-hmm. and I was watching him, and I was really a big fan of his. You know, because you remember, you ever watch Rude.com? Mm-hmm. Rude.com was where the, the old you watch old pornos and stuff like that. So I used to watch, and I was a big fan of his. And then one day he got over in the shower. And he washed his dick. I seen him washing his dick and stuff. He still didn't wash it how I would have washed it. How you would have washed it, man? Oh, I'd have been all up in that. Show me. Cause his dick was big. I, Show me how you would have been all up. I would have been all wiping all. He had big a big dick and some big nuts, and he needed to reach up under there and wipe and do all in the gooch area. Okay. And so he was. He just. He, so you telling me you bathe your men? I these men you need to bathe. They need to be bathed and baptized. So you bathe them and wash that? Huh? <laughs> Bitch, don't you don't you clean your meat before you cook it? I just didn't know you do all that. Don't you clean your meat before I you cook it? Came prepared. I I don't trust that. Do you know a man could get his dick sucked and still come to your house? And I just told you that. Why are you telling me about what I need a man for? But you don't turn around and contradict yourself. No, I'm not contradicting yes, myself. The fuck you did. I'm saying that he could get his dick sucked and come you. over to your house with a, with with, with stay breath on his dick mm-hmm. and get in the bed with you. Mm-hmm. No, that if ain't you, fair, if, but I'm just telling you, we just talking you about know it. how far we live out from the city. If a nigga come in front of the city from the airport from anywhere mm-hmm. and you come into the crib, I'm bathing you before you get in the bed with me. I'm bathing you because I, I don't trust you. I'm ready for his ass to go after I get my one too. He's not got that nasty. Sister, I don't even. Do you like men anymore? I love a dick. But why you? They just ain't shit. So what you gonna do about your sexual kicks and stuff? I'm just I a, think you uh, need to build you a nigga. You gonna help me build that motherfucker? You need to get an AI artificial intelligence to build you a nigga. Ah, <laughs> dick ain't gonna be real, bro. And I listen. Let me tell you something. You right. These people are out here nasty, and I want to talk. Let's since we talked about the men. I want to hit on the women hygiene. Okay. Well, listen, I'm not finna get into that because you know the. Uh-uh. Uh, I could get into it. Oh, I'm not doing Y'all that. Y'all girls need to learn how to clean yourself. You need to learn how to go from the front to the back. That's how you clean Becky down there. A lot of y'all girls be having bacteria infections and all kind of stuff, and STDs, and ain't seeing about yourself. The girls get nasty. Okay, but I'm your big sister in Christ Jesus, and I want y'all girls to get your hygiene in order. Some of y'all bitches right around ain't brushing your teeth, got the veneers on, but plaque all up under them, okay? Okay, get your shit together, lady. I was walking behind a lady in the store the other day. She stayed so bad, I couldn't even breathe. She had a little trigger moments up in that pussy. I'm not saying that. Uh, well, I said it. <laughs> I'm not saying that because every time I'm not going in that area. You're what not, you mean you're not going in that you're area? Not finna get me, you're not finna get razor blades on me. Oh my God, Maddie. 
Girl, you my sister in Christ. We are sisters. So then on that note, well, I'm about to wrap this up. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, please make <laughs> sure that, that, it, that you know that it is okay as a man. If you want to have some augmentation done to yourself, it is okay. It is okay as a woman if you want to have some augmentation done to yourself. If you are trying to find anything to do under the table, don't do it. It is too many people out there that are doing professional stuff. And if they do it wrong, you can fucking sue. Yeah. And men... I'm speaking to the men. I don't want I, you could talk to the ladies. You're not finna get these no clip going around viral top of me saying something about ladies and stuff. I'm not doing that. Well, listen, ladies, I want y'all to stop antagonizing my friend, okay? <laughs> because my friend is a good person and she loves women and she loves men and she's the best of the best, okay? And I'm tired of y'all doing this shit. It's not right and it's not cool. Well, and I'm still Period. not finna talk about the woman's okay, coochie. Okay, well, I'm saying that about them. Well, I I'm did. gonna talk about the men's. Please, sirs. Pull the skin back on your dick, wipe around that, clean, get take a hot towel and do that, and then still get over in the tub and do that. And it is okay, it is not homosexual for you to get down, submerge your ass down in the tub and, and wash, wash your ass. ass and take a towel and go, I don't know, front to back, back to front, just clean your ass. Oh, wow. Your ass. I can't stand it. You didn't y'all me and boxes be all up in your ass. You know what? The boxes kitchen, all your shit. Literally. Ugh. This has been our segment on beauty standards. This is my my co-host Shakana Joe, and we'll see you next episode. Bye. In a minute. All right, y'all. This is your girl T S Madison, honey, on asking for a friend. This is about to be one of those segments that you are really not prepared for. Do you hear what I'm trying to tell you? I have went all the way over to the west side and pull my dog from the west side of Atlanta. <laughs> if if y'all don't know nothing about a mouth from the south, baby Cadillac Kimberly has the mouth of the south. I want y'all to know that this woman, I have been a, a, a huge fan of way before the internet was popping. Like Cadillac Kimberly has been doing vlogs for so long and her vlogs are real raw, Un unadulterated, okay. however she feel about it, whatever she meets, she reads men, women, children, and everything in between, including me. <laughs> Not you, but I tell the news. Mm -hmm. It's no different than your local broadcast. I just do it with a different finesse because what I tell is facts, and if it's my opinion, then I insert it as such. But I give the facts and I give my opinion, and you come with your own conclusion. All right, so since we're doing facts and opinion on this situation, the name of this segment is Spot that botched. Okay. So the producers have get, are getting ready to surprise us with some pictures and stuff like that. And we're gonna say if it's botched or if it's real. Hairline. Okay. Oh, uh, Tiger's hairline is just so, it's so unfortunate. You know, you, you can't- Tiger Woods or yes. Tiger? Uh, uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger is just, I don't even know how people fucking him raw. But okay. Okay, so now, LeBron, he can do whatever the fuck he want because he got so much money. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. He can say, he just don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, he look okay. I would have fucked him before. Okay, Safari, he ain't my type, but baby. <laughs> The hairline look good. Though. What about when Safari was in the Rolls Royce girl and he kept doing this here so we can see the double R, baby? <laughs> well, he, was he was actually trying to show his hairline off. Uh -huh. So we're gonna agree that Tiger Woods' hairline was the worst out of them all. Right, but if he wanna give me some money, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cause I little balls too, Tiger. <laughs> Shit, I'm a prostitute in furlough. I'm taking all work, cause I don't know what Macy's gonna do. They gonna take my house over these shoes or what? You know what I'm saying? Damn. All right, oh. so now we getting ready to talk about BBLs. Oh, summer oh. water. That's what that is? Okay. Well, that doesn't look good. That's who, is that the same girl? Okay, now I like her downtown on top of Centennial Tower half naked. So you like this body better? Uh-uh, I don't want the seventh grade one, honey. Give me the one in the high school. You, so you want the thick one? I want you? the thick one, honey, with the yeast infection, honey. You can tell. <laughs> honey, when you thick like that, it come from yeast. I don't want to look at that. I already done said no. When you look at this picture, sister, who, yes. who does it kind of put you in the matter? A knockoff Lil' Kim. To the right? No, but who is the bill like? It's people in Atlanta. Tiny. When she riding T.I., that's how she look. But he love it. 
You know, I'm fucking with a nigga that most people would run from because he don't take his medicine, but that's me. Everybody got their own situation. I don't judge. I just always have an opinion. Thank you for your opinion. And we really appreciate it over here at Blavity. It is so, so amazing for you to give us a raw, unadulterated opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have really enjoyed this segment. We didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. We were just giving our unadulterated That's opinion. true. We don't want to hurt nobody's feelings now. Uh-uh. I would never want to do that now. I'm Christian. But you will tell the truth, though. If it's the truth, the Chinese proverbs say, truth cannot be taken as insult. That's right. Hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know that you come here for me, and you come here for the team, but please make sure that you are following Cadillac Kimberly everywhere on social media. Kat, Kimberly, tell her where to follow you. Honey, it's so limited. I let the Instagram go. I let the Facebook go. Now I just got Twitter, at Caddy Kim, C-A-D-D-Y, K-I-M, and I'm on TikTok, but I don't even know what it is. But what about YouTube? Oh, yeah, Cadillac Kimberly. That's my channel. Over 5 million views collective, and I'm grateful. So people all around the world, join hands. Mm. And what? Kiss our ass, please. Kiss our ass. <laughs> this has been my favorite part of the segment. Kimberly, I love you. I love you too, baby. I, I love, love you for you real, so real talk. And I, I want you to win. I want to see you on a stand-up comedy stage because I don't think that nobody's mouth is quick as yours. Right. I say I'm quick on my feet and hell on my back. We love y'all. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow the Cadillac, Kimberly. And see y'all soon. Bye, child. Oh, love Bye. you. Yes, honey, yes, 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 God. This is T.S. Madison, and we're back on Asking for a Friend. Ask a friend, and I am that friend, honey. We have a caller that is out there that's calling in that got some tea for me. Caller, what's the tea? Hi, I need some advice. I'm a male to female transgender woman, and I came out to some people about six months ago, and I'm largely still in the closet. I don't want to hide it anymore, and I really want to step my transition up a notch. My question is, what kind of things do I need to do to start transitioning? So you are a male to female transgender woman, meaning that you were male first and then you transitioned to a female. Yes. Oh, kind of like me. Okay, hey, sister. <laughs> um, well, here's the thing. Um, are you pre-operative? Have you, are you in the process of getting the operation? Like what's going on? Tell me about it. Um, I'm pre-op and I want to do that down the line. I'm more so thinking outwardly. I want to be able to pass more. Yes. Oh, you want to be able to pass more. Um, here's the thing, uh, you know, passing really comes into, uh, a person's own personal preference on passing because my thing is in transition, when you have these people that you want to emulate or you want to look like that's not real. It's not real because we have been conditioned and uh, programmed to think that the 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 television actress, the uh, uh, magazine model, like that is the that is the aesthetic of all women. When you look around, women come in all shapes, sizes, forms, and colors, and so. What you have to do is find your transition point in yourself, what, what you, where you're comfortable at and how you feel on how you look. See, I started transitioning when I was around about 17, 18 years old. I'm 46, so that's been a long time. And I'm still in the process of going. I, I decided that I didn't want to have the sexual re reassignment surgery because I didn't want to do that. My personal reason why I did not want to have the sexual reassignment surgery is because I felt like that, that my cock, was my personal connection to the universe or to the higher authority or to God or whatever you want to call it. That's my phone line to God, honey. You know, anytime I get twisted up in my mind and thinking something else, I just motherfucker tug that bitch. I mean, God, get this bitch together down here. You hear me? You know, I'm joking, but I'm serious. Um, and also because I don't want to be natural. I don't want to fit into a natural realm i really have never ever in any area wanted to be a female i've never wanted to be that i've always wanted to be somewhere in between because what is more magical than to understand both beings male 
and female. But if you are on the fence about having an SRS, this is something that you have to get solid in your mind. And I'm going to tell you a story, personal story that happened to me. I'm going to make it quick. I was about 19 years old and I felt that I was being pressured because society said in order for you to be a real transgender woman or transsexual, you have to have, you got to get your dick cut off. In order for you to be real, you got to get your dick cut off. I had a Puerto Rican boy experience where I picked up a Puerto Rican guy after the club one night. And we were riding around in the car having good conversation. He was out of area and I lived in the hood at this time. And so the Puerto Rican guy was walking through the hood and he was lost. And um, we he got in the car and we were riding around. He was like, I'm going to give you gas if you drop me off into this place. I'm like, well, baby, what you doing in the hood? Let me take you back to your house or whatever. You know, I had other motives, but which end up happening any motherfucking way. And we went back to my house and we went in the room and then we went in the room and we I got naked and I was put, holding my hand over my my penis. And I had my, my titties. They were not big as they are now. But I was holding my hand on my piece. And he was like, let that go. Like, let me see. Let me see it. And so, because at the time, I was like, I'm going to get it cut off. I'm going I'm gonna to be a woman. I'm going to be, I'm going to go ahead and just be a woman. And he was like, no, don't you do that. You are beautiful exactly the way you are. Now, in my brain, I have been struggling with for the longest did I want to actually have the SRS surgery? Because I was like, everybody around me saying, in order for you to be real and blending, you gotta cut, you gotta cut it out, you gotta get rid of it. And then what I'm into, because I'm into men, what I'm really into and ultimately is gonna end up being with for the rest of my life, is a man said to me, You are beautiful exactly the way you are. Move your hand. And I moved my hands And when I moved my hands He laid me back in the bed And rolled that motherfucker Like a damn greyhound butt You hear me? And I just had the freakiest time with him And even though it, it was a sexual situation I left that whole situation From that day forth I never, ever, ever Thought about having an SRS surgery again because the pressure in my mind was put on by the outside forces telling me that in order for me to be real or for me to be happy or for me to be whatever I needed to get it cut off but my mind was telling me I'm good how I am with it and that man came forth and just reinforced what my mind had been telling me and ever since then I was like fuck it if you can't eat it while the meat on the bone you can't have it when it's a gristle well, this is your friend telling you as a friend because you was asking for a friend. What's up, y'all? This is your girl T.S. Madison back here on Asking for a Friend. Honey, listen, I'm always excited to have uh, my friends, loved ones, and family members come through. And Miss Lawrence is most definitely not a stranger to anything T.S. Madison. Miss Lawrence is an actor. Miss Lawrence is a singer. Miss Lawrence is an innovator. Miss Lawrence is a fucking trendsetter. And Miss Lawrence is my sister. And Miss yeah. Lawrence is right here, sitting here right now. And we getting ready to talk about all things gender, gender norms, uh, uh, <laughs> inclusivity, every fucking thing. And all so, the new shit. All the new shit. So, sister, <laughs> we get ready to talk about cisgender, transgender, asexual, bisexual, pansexual. Pansexual. Because the Brady man came out as pansexual. He said he pansexual. So, somebody asked me just recently, like, what is pansexual? I don't know. Okay. So, now he broke it down. In that he's attracted to the person. It's not really a sexual thing. He's attracted to the person. Well, wouldn't that be a sapiosexual? See, this is what I'm It's too much. Come on, let's talk about it being it's too, too much. It's too much. Can we just really sit here on Blavity right now, on asking for a friend, and I'm asking my friend, is it too much? Even for us gays and trans and stuff like that, is it too much? You know, I think it's... The era we we from, yes, is too much. However, the fact that all of this stuff has come about 
and it's probably been around a long time in other, you know, in other genres and it, uh, whatever, Latin, whatever. But the fact that we are we are all now talking about it and, and trying to come to some mutual common ground and understanding around all this stuff, that part I appreciate because what it's doing more than ever is making us have dialogue with each other. Correct. Straight, gay, trans, non-conforming, bisexual, all of it. We're having conversations that we've never had before. But the issue is nobody is really taking the time out to fully, fully educate on what this is. And they're also not saying that whether you understand it or not, respect should be the common ground. At the top of the list. At the top of At the, the list. Top Whether you understand the shit or not, is to respect your brother and your sister. And you'll understand it. How did the Bible say we'll understand it better by and by? Hey, by y'all shot It ain't been shit too. Hey. So listen. I'm sitting here and I'm I'm looking at you and you have on a a, a woman's jacket. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just I'm just being real. Yeah. You, have, you have on a woman's jacket, you have on purse, and you've always worn women's shoes because you have on some women's Crocs right now. Mm -hmm. Earrings, you have lashes and 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 eyeshadow. All kind of yeah. You, and you're done. Yeah. So my question to you is like when somebody runs into you and they meet you. And they ask you, what are your pronouns? What are your pronouns? People ask me that all the time. I I am from an era where we didn't get into that again. I don't have a specific pronoun. Uh, he, she, ma'am, sir, you name it. You know, I go by all them. However, again, like I said before, if if that is the thing that gets somebody to acknowledge me, then I'll oblige to a conversation about it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I will I will subscribe in that moment and in that moment only to it. But other than that, I don't have a specific pronoun. I, there have been there have been times when I have been handling handling business and I get emails and people automatically assume that I'm just going to go by the they and them pronoun and they're looking and they're like um Miss Lawrence they so I'm like I not one time told not nobody. <laughs> Nobody that I am a they or a them. Right. What I did was respect. If I did, if I'm unsure, I don't want to just run in here and just because you are are you you do identify as a gay man? Yeah. I don't want to just because you identify as a gay man immediately start saying she and her because right. you know I need to know these things before I even start with a converse, conversation. And here's where we are in society with a lot of things right now. Society has gotten to a space where we don't want to respect people's anything. And so me, if I want to receive respect, I try to lead in with that. Yeah. Even if it's my sisters or whatever, now has gotten now the time has gotten more critical where we where it's prompted me to ask more. Yeah, but you know what and yes, we have to do that now, but it has it has just taken the I don't know. It's 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 taken so much from us, right? We a lot of us are scared to address one another now. We're afraid to talk to each other one now because of all of these new social constructs that have come about. Like like the whole pronoun thing. When I talk to a lot of my straight brothers and sisters, or hetero brothers and sisters, or bio brothers and sisters, you know that is one of the things that they say a lot. Well, we don't ever say nothing because we don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call. I'm scared. Da da da. And it shouldn't be that way. And I feel like while we are on a quest to move forward and respect each other, we are at the same time going backwards in, in the way that we are able to relate to each other. So it's, it's a gift and a curse at the same time. So I think the work right now is finding that middle ground, you know? Well, I do uh, share a lot of the same sentiments that you have with this situation. I do disagree in, in a space mm -hmm. because you are a gay, a gay male. Right. I'm a trans woman. And so for me, pronouns are very important. But see, I just had this conversation with somebody the other day because somebody came for one of my sisters and I don't know if she was doing it intentionally or not, but we were on the phone and she was like, oh, I need to call so-and-so because he always so-and-so. I said, I said, no, no. I said, you just misgendered them. See, this is what I'm saying. I said, it's, it's this simple. If you, you ain't dumb, if you see someone that is female presenting, mm -hmm. body, titties, ass, hair, lash, you're, you're not going to sit here and tell me the first thing that could come to your mind is to call that person a he or a him. What pisses me off about the whole situation, 
I know why why you're doing it, and I know why that the whole pronoun thing has gotten blown up out of out of proportion because a lot of times these people have been able to do these things and be blatantly disrespectful to you and 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 want to offend you and want to do these things because they know that you're living your life the way that you're living your life and they want to just tell you oh well, I, I see what you're doing but bitch I don't buy it mm -hmm. you know and I'm gonna tell everybody around you know for me and this is just for me for me it becomes a safety issue when especially if you are trans trans man or trans woman and you're 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 outside, you're out in public, and you're living your life or whatever, and somebody is really deliberately doing that. Mm -hmm. And I can give examples. Um, I've been in spaces where everybody hasn't, you know, known. If they don't know I'm T.S. Madison and they haven't known, you know, what it is, you know, and I've seen people go all out of their way. Yes, hey, boy. What's up, <laughs> sir? And, you know, people are like, who are you talking about? Like, what? what, what? Why are you doing that to that lady? Or what's going mm -hmm. on? That ain't it. That's a man. And they're doing it with such vitriol to do that to either one, try to get you hurt, or two, try to make somebody laugh at you or, or poke fun or whatever. Right. Especially when it comes down to the bathroom stuff, like the bathroom thing. Like, I'm not going in a, in a men's room. Right. It's not happening. Right. Now, if they had a, a bathroom that was just like a gender non-conforming bathroom mm -hmm. or a new gender neutral bathroom. I use the gender neutral bathroom, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm I'm going in the, the women's room to pee because I'm not going to be in, in the men's room. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm popping up in the men's room. Let me ask you this. Before, before there ever became a conversation around pronouns, around um, trans people using the, the right, you know, which, you know, the bathroom thing, did you ever have a problem going to the women's room? Uh, no. I haven't. I've been going to the women's room since I was gender, when I was gender non-conforming. Don't you? Haven't you? When I go in clubs, I've been in clubs, and I, I get, I'm done up, I'm in, my, I'm, in my, I'm in my six inch heels, and ball head, I always, I always rock the ball head. Lash. The girls actually bring in the bed like, girl, I gotta come here with me. Come here, come here with me. Come help me fix my bra. Come help me do this. You know, I, I don't know. Again, I think the uproar happened when I'm trying to I'm trying to be very careful. No, don't be careful. <laughs> I'm trying be to this. be very careful. The uproar came in when when this when it became a political ploy. When it became a political ploy. And again, who picks it up? All of our blog sites that are owned primarily by us. Uh huh. Us meaning black and gay. Meaning black and gay. And then it affects again us disproportionately. Yes. Then our white brothers and sisters. Yes, it does. It affects us. And we wasn't the ones that went up there to Capitol Hill and said, we want to use the women's room. We didn't do that. We were already doing it. We was doing that anyway. All right. Now, here's where oh, we, we, we're getting down to the end. But here is where there is a fine line. Okay, the fine line comes in. I'm trans. You're gender nonconforming yes. and gay. Mm -hmm. And we have a group of people out there that are non-binary. And... I cannot speak for the non-binary people either. because I don't understand. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I don't understand it. I don't adhere or I don't subscribe, you know, to the non-binary identity. But the non-binary identity challenges what the social norm look like, and then they start going into the bathrooms, and then the people are like, "Well, why are you? Why do you have a mustache?" And a beard. No, this is what no, happens. No, no, I know. Why I know. Have, why do you have a mustache and a beard? And why do you have like this one? And you're going into the women's room. Then this is they. They take these pieces and they start using this as political. It, it's all political. And we as black people are are our votes count more now than ever. Um, they use this and they use this as a fear mongering situation to put out to the masses of people to get them numbers up. What I want black people to understand mm -hmm. that it's us today and it is, it's always been you. But they put us at the top of the ticket because they know that this is a very sensitive thing in our community. And then you end up going down there to the voting polls and you're voting against yourself because this is at the top of the list when all the time 
our rights have always been impacted as black people. Yeah. In that bill that you you so feel with vitriol mm -hmm. because it's been sensationalized so viciously. Mm -hmm. And now you just voted against your people twice. Mm -hmm. Cause colors, us gays, trans, homosexuals, all of that stuff, we your people, so we black people too. Yeah. We ain't just over there under the, the yeah. uh, r r we black people too. And I and I want people to, I had to I had to tell somebody the other day, one of my I won't even call her a friend, but this woman that I know, you know, she's like, I just feel like I feel like um my kids are being indoctrinated to all of this. So she's like, it's you know, if you're gonna be gay, that's fine, but like why do you have to wear my clothes? Why do you have to wear women's clothes? They're not your clothes. I said, Well, here's the piece. They're not your clothes. I said, let's go. I said uh, wait, sister, I got <laughs> they're not your clothes. Right. It is a social construct. Mm-hmm. But okay. Yeah. And I said, you do know that in the beginning, there was no differentiation in clothes. There was no differentiation. You know, a lot of the pharaohs that ruled Egypt, they all look the exact same. And there's one person that I read about and, and learned about named Queen Hatshepsut, who was a biological woman who became the ruler of Egypt at one point, and she decided to look like a look male presenting so that she could rule because it was against the norms back then for females to for, for women to rule. And so she literally transformed herself, wore men's clothing, all of the garb, everything, to look like a man as a, and she became a ruler. So this idea that all of this stuff is new, that oh my God, they are taking away masculinity, they're trying to change our children, they're trying to reprogram our children. It's been here. The only difference is now is we have all of these new platforms and these new ways of getting all of our points of, uh, points of views across. It's just now showing up in your face. But it's nothing new. And let me also say that we are in a spiritual warfare. Ah, y'all are. Well, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Mm. So those that have been ignored and overlooked for decades and even centuries are now making their way. Because for my Bible thumpers, and Bible, God said, I love all of mine and I use all of them. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to get down there in the comment section and please sound <laughs> off on this particular comment. Let us know how you feel. Like some of you may agree, some of you may not. But we do thank you for watching and we do thank you for taking the time to open up your ears and your hearts to learn and listen. So, so I thank and I you love so y'all. And I love you. I love you. And ain't nothing none of y'all can do about it. I thank you so much always for coming and showing I'm up. I'm gonna do whatever for you, bitch. Yeah, you know, you know I love you like a fat bitch love chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much and I thank you for being you. See you soon. Bye. Thank you guys for joining us this episode. And thank you so much, Miss Lawrence, for coming through sitting down with your sister. I love you. This episode was amazing. Now listen, the next episode, oh girl, we getting deep. We are discussing multicultural relationships. So what I need for you to do is make sure that you are subscribed to Blavity's YouTube channel and click your notifications on so that you can be notified as soon as the episode drops. And remember, don't meet me here, bitch. Beat me here. Ciao.